car error of 4,500 out of the fox shot. Yes, sir, we have uh, Adam set up the site. Guy, turn up for fox shot, enter left base, runway 1 8, contact the tower 1 1 8 point 7, good eight. Um, one nine or four fox shot and a star runway one eight clear to land. Alright, clear to land runway one eight, nine or four fox shot. The Rock Pro KC forty one twenty four is uh fifteen for ten Sierra. KC forty one twenty four, low rock approach, expect runway four left, the Senate pilot's discussion, maintain six thousand. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video here on Green Brothers Flying. Before we get into today's video, let's give out some social media shoutouts. You can find Green Brothers Flying on Discord, on Instagram at Green Brothers Flying, on Facebook at Green Brothers Flying, and on Twitter at Flying underscore Green. Also, Green Brothers Flying is still selling t-shirts. They are $20. Check our social media for more details. In episode 5 of 4 Flight Tutorials, let's talk about stars and what they are. Stars are standard terminal arrival routes. Let's talk about the Seaver 4 Arnav arrival into DFW and the Hollywood arrival into LAX. Let's get started. So, as you guys can see here, we are going to Sky Vector since 4 Flight doesn't want to cooperate. Load up Sky Vector, you see here. We're going to go here, type in Dallas, Fort Worth. As you can also tell, there's a lot of convective segments out. Um, we turn on the radar. You can tell there's a lot of moisture. There you go, right here. Just south of Dallas. Anyways, we click on Dallas. We go down here, there's a lot of things you can look at. ILS charge to RNAV approaches. Departure procedures covered in the next video. And now we're finally down here to standard terminal arrival routes or stars. So we go down here. There's a lot of them. Seaver 4. Arnav. Actually go back down here. You look for the Seaver. Hit that. There you go. Once it loads up here. So, Seaver 4, Seaver, Seaver 4, Seaver 4, Rival, Arnav, Dallas Fort Worth International, DFW. So, it's Dallas Fort Worth International, DFW, Dallas Fort Worth, Texas. Go from over here. Check the dates 18th of June 2020 to 16th of July 2020. It's a good chart. So, a couple of the notes radar required, Arnav, Arnav required DME, DME, IRU, or GPS required, turbojet aircraft only. This is for use when DFW is operating in a south flow. If DFW is operating in a north flow, file and expect the bridge RNAV star. Via digital ATIS, arrivals 123.775. Regional approach control 125.02, 133.52, or 263.02. Don't really have to worry about that one. But let's get started. There's a lot of different points where you can get come in from. High tug, uh, RNET, there's a uh, Standard hold at coma there. We have meow. We have few jarhead Ronnie axe so a Star if we we're going to take it from a few um, Pretty standard arrival going from Little Rock to Dallas. It's uh, Little Rock LIT meow few and then the arrival so coming from few you have few you come down on a 66 nautical mile leg 246 to proud Proud, you can hold that proud standard right turns 10 nautical mile legs. Next leg is proud to the leather 10 nautical miles, then leather to neck 10 nautical miles. And at neck, you have to be below flight level 300 or 30,000 feet and above flight level 240 and at 290 knots. Now, how do I know that? Well, you have to be at or below flight level 300 because the line is above above flight level 330 and you have to be above flight level 240 because the line is above or below flight level 240 now 
290 knots, you have to be at it because there's two lines above it and below it. Coming down here, 10 nautical mile leg to sailor. You have to be above, again, above flight level 210 and at 290 knots, unless, of course, ATC tells you something different. Usually, they'll just say descend via the Seaver 4 arrival. Then you have Seaver below 16,000 and above 13,000 and then at 270 knots. Yes, that is correct. 16,000, not 16,000. Every number is pronounced by itself. That's where the... And then you come down here to bridge. B-R-D-J-E. Below 12,000 or above 11,000 and at 250 knots. Then you come to Nuss at or below 10,000 feet and above 8,000 feet at 240 knots. And then you come on this leg, 14 nautical miles. Yabbit is at... 6,230 knots, and then after Yabit, you fly heading 265. And then on the next part, since it's a multi part arrival, or page two rather, the continuation uh, pretty much gives you descriptions, axe transition, aircraft file only 23 or below. Chimley is ATC assigned, few, high tug jarhead, ATC assigned only, proud, ATC assigned, Arnett, Ronnie for aircraft filing, flight level 230 and below. And basically this is just the description or the text textural of this. So it's from Seaver on track 225 to cross bridge between 11,000 and 12,000 and at 250 knots and on track 248 to cross Nuss between 8,000 and 10,000 at 240 knots then on track 263 to cross Yabit at 6,000 and at 230 knots. Then on track 265 expect radar vectors to final approach course. So that's the Seaver 4 RNAV arrival in Dallas. Let's close up these tabs and let's go to... LAX. So here's LAX. We're doing, as you can see, airport diagram, all these ILS R nows, departure procedures, again, next video, and down here, standard terminal arrival route starts, and we're doing the Hollywood one. Yeah, that, come back down here, Hollywood one, hit the continuation page. So you want to come over here, Hollywood one arrival, Hollywood one arrival, R nav, transition routes, Los Angeles, California, LAX. Eastwood, Finda, Gabriel, and Midler. You have all these transitions. Make sure it's current. June 18th, 2020 to June 6th, July 16th, 2020. It's current. So, okay, approach control 124.05. Digital ADS arrival is 133.8. Los Angeles Tower North 133.9. And South is 120.95. So, you have Finda, G Gable, Gable, Eastwood. Then you have all of these routes in. From uh, Finda, you come in to Midler. From Gallo, you fly 44 miles to Chiplin, and then Newman, and then Midler. And from Eastwood, you go to this point, MCQWN, and then Midler. From Midler, you get a standard hold, 10 nautical mile legs, and then you have. Uh, MRO, and then you have Hollywood, which is flight level 230 at or below. Going on to the next page, you see this Hollywood at or below flight level 320. 15 nautical mile leg to Bruin at or below flight level 300 above flight level 240 and at 280 knots. 15 mile leg to Avatar below flight level 250 and above flight level 190. 7 nautical mile leg to Day at or above 17,000. 10 mile leg to what up at or above 15,000. 4 nautical mile leg to kneel at or above 14,000. Also, uh, so this is left turns and the holding pattern if they need it. Sea view f below 14, above 12, and 270 knots. Again, you can hold here at 10 nautical mile legs. And then the rival route descriptions basically this and Text format, then it says lost communications procedure. In the event of lost communications prior to runway assignment, proceed on the ILS or localizer runway 25 left. 
and then some notes radar required RNAV required D DME or IRU or GPS required triple jet aircraft only Los Angeles landing west traffic so if you're doing east you file a different one expect runway 25 less unless otherwise assigned by ATC expect expect local area altimeter reaching flight level 230 so when you reach 230 you're going to receive the local altimeter setting that's pretty much it. This is obviously the end of the arrival. And then Sea View flies on to the ILS. And then from the end there, you just fly the ILS into LA. Pretty simple. Not much to it. Um, if you guys want to see a different star that's not RNAV equipped, uh, let me know in the comments below. And I'll try my best to do, to do that and explain that. But uh, until the next video... We hope you enjoy these, and if you have any more video suggestions, let me know in the comments below. And until the next one, blue skies in the tailwind.